When we think about life beyond Earth, we typically envision distant planets with Earth-like conditions. However, recent groundbreaking research by Robin Wordsworth of Harvard University and Charles Cockle from the University of Edinburgh challenges this perspective. Their study suggests that life might not require planets to exist. Instead, ecosystems could create and sustain their own conditions for survival, even in the vacuum of space. This idea not only reshapes our understanding of habitability, but also ties into broader questions about the universe's design and its ability to support life. In this video, we will learn about this fascinating concept, explore its implications, and understand why it matters so much for astrobiology and beyond. Traditionally, scientists define habitability based on the presence of liquid water, moderate temperatures, atmospheric pressure, and protection from harmful radiation, all characteristics of a stable planetary environment. These criteria have traditionally guided the search for life beyond Earth reflecting conditions known to support life on our planet. But what if these assumptions are limiting our understanding of what's possible? Robin Wordsworth and Charles Cockle challenge this planetary bias by proposing that biologically generated barriers could mimic the essential functions of a planetary environment. Life might not need a planet at all. Instead, it could create its own habitat using biological processes. This potential for self-sustaining ecosystems expands the possibilities for life in environments previously considered uninhabitable, such as the vacuum of space. Examples from Earth provide compelling evidence of life's adaptability. Cyanobacteria, some of the earliest forms of life, thrive in extreme conditions, including low atmospheric pressure. These microorganisms adapt efficiently demonstrating survival mechanisms that could translate to extraterrestrial environments. Similarly, seaweed, like Ascophyllum nodosum, uses air bladders to regulate internal pressures, maintaining buoyancy and gas exchange. The Saharan silver ant's reflective body surfaces minimize heat absorption, enabling survival in harsh desert conditions. These examples underscore how life manipulates its surroundings to endure extreme environments. The researchers argue that extraterrestrial life forms could similarly develop structures to regulate pressure, temperature, and radiation exposure. Biologically generated barriers could block harmful ultraviolet rays while allowing light necessary for photosynthesis. This redefinition shifts habitability from being a location's characteristic to a property of life forms themselves. Such a paradigm challenges astrobiology to rethink the criteria for searching for life in unconventional locations, like icy moons such as Europa or Enceladus, where microbial life might exist within self-created habitable zones. Building on the idea that life can create its own habitable conditions, Wordsworth and Cockle explore how self-sustaining habitats could function. These habitats would need to address three critical factors, maintaining liquid water, regulating temperature, and preventing volatile loss. Innovative solutions rooted in biological and physical principles could make such habitats feasible even in extreme environments. Maintaining liquid water, a cornerstone of life, is challenging in space due to the absence of atmospheric pressure. On Earth, Internal pressure differentials are common in organisms like seaweed and plants, suggesting that similar mechanisms could evolve elsewhere. Biologically generated barriers, akin to seaweed air bladders, might create the pressure needed to sustain liquid water in extraterrestrial habitats. Temperature regulation poses another critical challenge. Earth's atmosphere stabilizes temperatures through the greenhouse effect, but space lacks such insulation. Silica aerogels, renowned for their low thermal conductivity, could provide an alternative. Interestingly, some organisms, like diatoms, naturally produce silica structures, hinting at a biological route for insulating materials. These structures could protect extraterrestrial habitats from extreme temperature fluctuations, enabling life to thrive in otherwise inhospitable environments. 
preventing the loss of volatile compounds, such as water vapor, is equally vital. The vacuum of space creates a constant gradient that draws volatile molecules away. Biofilms and stromatolites on Earth demonstrate how microbial communities retain essential compounds while allowing necessary processes like photosynthesis to continue. Mimicking or enhancing these natural mechanisms could help sustain extraterrestrial habitats, even in the vacuum of space. These self-sustaining habitats could also integrate closed-loop ecosystems, recycling waste into nutrients. For example, microbial life could convert waste into essential elements like nitrogen and phosphorus, ensuring a continuous supply. Experimental biospheres, such as Biosphere 2, have studied such mechanisms, providing valuable insights for creating sustainable extraterrestrial ecosystems. The researchers' calculations suggest that such habitats could support life across a range of distances from a star, opening possibilities for life on asteroids, moons, or even free-floating in interstellar space. The idea that life can create its own habitable conditions broadens the scope of astrobiology, shifting the search for extraterrestrial life to unconventional environments like asteroids, comets, and interstellar space. Instruments designed for future missions must adapt to detect biosignatures in these unexpected settings. This concept also ties into fundamental questions about the universe's design. Studies testing the anthropic principle examine whether the universe's constants, like the gravitational constant, are fine-tuned for life. If life can generate its own habitable conditions, the universe's capacity to support life might be even broader than previously thought. Moreover, this research redefines evolutionary pathways. On Earth, life adapts to its environment, but extraterrestrial life might evolve to shape its environment instead. Autonomous, Self-sustaining habitats could leave unique biosignatures, chemical or structural markers, detectable even in the absence of a planetary surface. These discoveries challenge our assumptions and open new avenues for exploration. The implications for human exploration are equally transformative. Engineering habitats that mimic these self-sustaining ecosystems could revolutionize space exploration. Habitats capable of generating oxygen, recycling waste, and maintaining stable conditions indefinitely would expand humanity's reach across the cosmos. As we search for extraterrestrial life, this paradigm shift invites us to explore regions previously overlooked, such as the Kuiper Belt or the surfaces of asteroids. Could microbial life exist in these frozen, low-energy environments? These questions demand innovative approaches and bold exploration, expanding our understanding of life's possibilities. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed exploring this fascinating concept with us, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the mysteries of the universe. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time.